Hey guys, Trisha with my Trish Advisor. So today's video is going to be a little different. It's kind of really up to you, but do you think you should travel to Mexico um, during coronavirus is my question. So I just want to make a video to show you guys similarly to where I stayed at um, Now Sapphire. I'm doing a video now at Now Jade to show you the precautions that they're giving you while you're traveling here. And uh, it's been really rewarding because I ran into like five people that saw my Now Sapphire video and they were like, listen, we saw your video and it really helped us make the decision whether, the, whether to travel or not. Um, but they saw that the, the resorts are taking um, precautions and honestly, they all said the same thing that they felt safer tra traveling here than even being in the U.S. or one guy was from Mexico City. So I'm going to show you around the room a little bit. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, my name's Trisha and I'm originally from Iowa. And I like to show you the good and beautiful things about Mexico because there's a lot of negative media about Mexico. And in fact, myself, before I even moved here, I was very scared about Mexico. Um, but I did drive through 18 states of Mexico. I've been now living in Puerto Morelos for five years. And so today's video, like I said, is to show you like what the resorts are doing. And I'm here at Now Jade specifically. I'm just gonna share my experience and like I said, what they're doing to keep you safe. So if you guys wanna know more about Mexico and traveling here, especially during the coronavirus at this time, um, some things have changed. Obviously, if you're watching this video a year from now, things could change. But uh, at this point, we're just sharing things that are updated about coronavirus. So if you guys wanna know more about Mexico, what it's like to travel here during these times, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. So let's get into the video. Yeah, that's me, a girl from Iowa, living in Mexico. I took a very random 16-day adventure across 18 states of Mexico with my two dogs and people I met three days prior, all the way from Tijuana to Cancun. I've lived here for three years and I've fallen in love with Mexico and want to share it with you. You will see my favorite places to eat, stay, and play. So follow my Trish Advisor if you want to know more about this amazing country and let's enjoy this journey together. They're still around, they're familiar faces, and I'm so happy to see my friends again. Yay. Hey, we're so Welcome. happy to see you here. Yeah, I'm happy Welcome to be back. back. Welcome back home. Let's go. <laughs> Alright guys, so now we're going to see this amazing room tour and I cannot wait for you to see the view, but look at this! Wait, can you see it? Look at that! So, bienvenida a Casa Trisha. 
even with the Instagram logo. How cool is that? So obviously, the bedroom. Check it out. Okay, we're just gonna do like a little walkthrough of the room. So let me turn this camera around. I'm sure you don't wanna see my ugly mug. So we are gonna start all the way from the beginning. This is when you enter. We are in room 8209, which is the preferred side. So to the right, the bathroom. We're not gonna start with the bathroom. We're gonna start with this view. So we have a, like a living room area. We have all of our goodies here, even M&Ms and Pringles. And um, just like other resort I stayed at, you can see that they have similar um, standards as far as sanitization. And we're gonna go through those things as well. But this is our living room and like sitting area. Okay. Let's go straight to the view. Can we do that first? Look at this. It's like a gorgeous day, gorgeous view. Oh my gosh, it's like stunning. So we have a view of the garden, the other rooms, and this is the preferred pool, infinity pool. And then on our balcony, it's huge. We have the tub and chairs, like a seating area outside. Hello, hello. Okay, we'll go back in. Okay, now we'll get into the details. Whew. And one cool thing is they have these like um, sensors on all the doors. So the AC actually only turns on when the doors are fully closed which I think is great for being sure that they're saving energy. So they put my, this is actually an older logo of mine, but my Trish advisor, and then it says, welcome home, my Trish advisor with chocolates. I'll be digging into those in no time. It's the details, right? It does not come with that cute floaty, that's mine. But huge bed and beautiful decor. Just love that. Isn't that so cool? What a welcome. Okay. Now I know a lot of you guys ask about like what's included as far as like, is there a safe? Is there, um, do they provide like toiletries and all that? So not only this is, this is the, the men's closet. Look at this. And then the women's closet. So we each have our own closet. That's my mess. You guys. <laughs> All right. So there is a safe to hide your precious items. <laughs> we have nothing like expensive. So that's the most precious item I could find to put in there. So don't steal our liquor, okay? And there's even a steamer. What? And then look at they have this is a um, hair dryer down here. They did give us all these goodies. It's like a whole pack and everything is sanitized. There's hand sanitizer, body wash, lotion. I love the lotion. I try to stock up on the lotion. Feels like you're at a spa. And then they do sanitize the glasses as well. The shower. Me again. Even a mirror, again, like I mentioned, another place I stayed to see all those wrinkles and hair you don't want to see. I would never use one of those. And then the bathroom. So you have a door on each side, so you have access on from the living room. You even have a bidet. I've never used that in my life. So, and I thought this was cool. They even have incense for your stinky, stinky times. Okay, now last thing is the mini bar. So you saw the liquor I, I had in the precious place. But this is all included, okay? So the first thing you'll notice is they put stickers on all your luggage saying that it's been sanitized um, when you enter. Uh, and which I think is a great idea because obviously being on the plane and then being in 
the uh, the transportation, and then also on all the remotes, they san they have them covered, and they have them sanitized. They gave me a Bob Marley. And a margarita. Jade buffet. Um, they do have some areas where they do serve you the food, but other parts it's actually just portioned, pre-portioned, so you just take your plate instead of having to serve yourself. So each one will already have its portion available to you. So yeah, what you do is you take the little plates of your own and you take them to your table so they don't have to serve you. And I do remember when I stayed here before, they did have all kinds of desserts and things to get in the middle here. But now, due to people like touching things for your safety, they're keeping everything um, out from being open and serving the portions. So you can just grab the, um, the plate and then take it with you. It is a little awkward because there's no like trays or anything, but it works as far as being safe because then you're not grabbing the same tongs and you know touching what everybody else is touching. You just take the plates that you want to take with you and you take it to your table. So maybe you have to make more trips. You have to like earn your food a little bit. Behind the scenes, Tangerine Travels, staying at a fancy resort. We finally made it to the pool. Look at this view. Yay! <laughs> Going to the bar. Going to the bar. So it's literally a beachfront swim up bar. Bar. Beach. Bam. See, una margarita mezcal and we have this cow, you know I'm a happy cow. See ya, Laura. They had this cow. Yes. It wasn't reposado, but it was this cow, so I'm happy. Huh? Travels in the house. We made it to Now Jade, so welcome to Now Jade. Thank you. Yeah. Salud. 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 We got the best view in the house. Look at this. I love this with the infinity pool, the beautiful ocean, no seaweed whatsoever. Paraíso. Paraíso. See, yes. Like he's, he mentioned there's no seaweed whatsoever. 
we know that a lot of people are very worried about that. Whether we have it or not, I would still travel, but it is really nice when... is the preferred side. Look at the water. Woo. Woo. I love it because it's just a little bit of a wave so you really hear the waves all day long but it's not like big waves that are knock you over. You just enjoy your swim. I can't wait to get drone footage of this. Oh my gosh. And you know what I noticed is like all the way down the beach, you can see all the way around me, there's hardly anyone here. Everybody's in the pool. And I think that's just because the pool serves drinks. <laughs> but there is a few people way over there. I don't know if you can see them. Um, but it's definitely swimmable and gorgeous, but everybody's at the pool where the drinks are. And that's where I'm going back to right now. Gosh, this is gorgeous. Now, I do need to mention, um, technically in Puerto Morelos, the beaches are closed. We are 10 minutes away from Puerto Morelos and uh, beaches are federally operated, but when you're staying on a resort to promote tourism, they are allowing people on the resort to go on the beaches. So right now we are allowed to be on the beach because we're at this resort at Now Jade. Which I'm very happy about because I've really missed it. Um, really, I've missed it a lot. But uh, we will be swimming, that's for sure.